If you're in the market for a high performance subwoofer at an affordable price point, the JL Audio W0 V3 series is a solid choice for you. Not only are these subwoofers designed to be rugged and reliable, they also have many of JL Audio's core design features that help them produce the high quality bass that JL Audio is known for. In this video, I want to give you guys an in-depth look at the JL Audio W0 V3 series. We're going to discuss the specifications and design of these subwoofers, considerations to help you pick the right size W0 for your application, what amplifiers to pair these with, and exactly what to expect when you get yours for your next system. The JL Audio W0 V3 subwoofers are available in three different sizes, that way they can be used for a wide range of applications. First, there's the 10 inch 300 watt RMS 10 W0 V3, then there's the 12 inch 300 watt RMS 12 W0 V3, and finally the 15 inch 500 watt RMS 15 W0 V3. All three of the sizes of the W0 V3 feature a single 4 ohm voice coil. If you'd like to know more of the specific dimensions like the outer diameter, the cutout diameter, and the mounting depth for these subwoofers, they are available on the JL Audio website where you can access a PDF version of the manual. So let's see what's in the box when you purchase a W0, and although there are three different sizes, in this case we're going to be unboxing the 12 inch size. When we first open the lid, we're going to see an illustrated view of the back side of the subwoofer. We'll flip that open and open each of these sides and we have our owner's manual. Remove this protective piece of cardboard and here we have the W0 subwoofer. With our first look at the subwoofer here, you're going to see the JL Audio logo on a polypropylene cone surrounded by a foam surround. If we flip over the W0, we're going to see several design features on the back side as well. On the back side, there's a motor cover to give the W0 a unique look. We'll also find high quality push terminals that are clearly labeled and these are for connecting our subwoofer to our amplifier and these accept up to 8 gauge wire size. The W0 also features a stamped metal basket with a silver metallic paint color and a rear gasket on the back side of the flange here for optimal enclosure sealing. Now one of the major reasons that the W0 V3 is such a reliable subwoofer is its elevated frame cooling. This design allows for airflow to the top of the voice coil, whereas the pull vent allows cooling to the bottom. The channels inside are also designed in a way that helps compress the air, allowing for more cooling versus being just a slot. A good cooling design increases thermal power handling and reduces compression effects. The W0 V3 also has a DMA optimized motor. DMA stands for Dynamic Motor Analysis and this is a JL Audio proprietary technology. Using this results in extremely linear and highly stable motor systems which ultimately achieve reduced distortion, improved transient performance, and stellar sound quality. When it comes to choosing the size of W0 subwoofer that you want to go with, of course you're going to want to consider the physical size of each subwoofer, but you should also consider the effective piston area. The effective piston area of the 10 inch subwoofer is 48.9 square inches, 74.5 square inches on the 12 inch, and 122.3 square inches on the 15 inch. The reason I want to point that out is you're getting more than double the piston area on the 15 inch subwoofer in comparison to the 10. So for those of you out there that are looking for reliable big bass performance on a relatively low amount of power, this would be a solid solution for you. But do keep in mind that comes with the trade-off of a larger physical size of the subwoofer and a larger enclosure size as well. Those considerations might make a 12 inch or a 10 inch a better choice. On the 10W0 V3, the recommended enclosure sizes are 0.65 for sealed and 1.125 cubic feet at 30 hertz for ported. In comparison for the 12W0 V3, we step up to 1.375 cubic feet sealed or 1.75 cubic feet at 26 hertz ported. Finally, on the 15W0 V3, we step up to 1.875 cubic feet sealed and 2.75 cubic feet ported at 25 hertz. The takeaway here is for each of these subwoofers in comparison to other subwoofers of a similar size, these are relatively compact enclosure sizes, allowing us to achieve great sound quality performance in a compact enclosure. 
But again, worth noting, if you were to step up from the 10 inch subwoofer to the 15 W0, you're going to need an enclosure that's about three times as large. Now, when it comes to choosing an amplifier for the W0 subwoofer, we're going to want to take a look at JL Audio's power band recommendations. A great match for the W0 subwoofers in both reliability and performance is the JD series of amplifiers from JL Audio. When it comes to powering either a single 10W0 or a single 12W0, I'd actually recommend stepping up to the JD500-1. This is because at 4 ohms, this amplifier is going to provide 250 watts RMS, which is perfectly within the optimum range on these subwoofers. And better yet, having that JD500-1 gives us the ability to upgrade to a second subwoofer in the future. That's because when we take two of these 4 ohm voice coil subwoofers and wire them in parallel, it will present a 2 ohm load to the amplifier, which will give us 500 watts RMS, which is 250 watts RMS per sub. A final consideration you may want to make depending on your application is adding a subwoofer grill. The W0 V3 design allows for this sold separately grill to be easily installed by press fitting it into place. So when you seek reliable performance and great sounding bass at an affordable price point, you're definitely going to want to consider the JL Audio W0 V3 series. Learn more at the links down in the video description. And if you are interested in seeing subwoofer enclosure builds for different subwoofers from the JL Audio lineup, be sure to check out the other videos here on my channel. A special thanks to JL Audio for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching.